Sunday marked eight years since the Northern Illinois University campus shooting, but the effects of the shooting still impact us today. For David Pierce, the sound of bullets in a place he comes to learn is unimaginable. What would I do if it happened? Run? I'd probably run for my life. The reality of a school shooting hits David close to home. He lived just five minutes from where the NIU shooting happened. He transferred to the U of I this fall after three years in DeKalb. Despite his move to the Champaign-Urbana campus, the possibility of an active shooter situation remains. In a situation like that, there's really nothing you can do because, I mean, you don't have a gun. So it's just like, you know, being in DeKalb, you just kind of, it's not a dangerous place. It's not that bad. Like, it's unfortunate that those things have happened, but that's not like an everyday thing. The uncertainty of what to do during an active shooter situation has reached the attention of the University of Illinois Police. After calling 911, it takes police officers on average three minutes to arrive to the scene of an active shooter, but they want you to know what to do in those three short minutes. The U of I has adopted the Department of Homeland Security's active shooter response method. In an active shooter situation, first, run. If running is not possible, hide under desks or in a locked room. The worst case scenario, fight back. UIPD Lieutenant Todd Short believes in the practicality of this plan. That applies to where you go to school, where you live, where you study, where you pray, where you eat, whatever, whatever it is that you're doing for a living. Despite the low chances of a school shooting, having a plan in mind can save lives. In Urbana, I'm Claire Lavizorio, UI 7 News.